in this problem we need to write a proof to show that these two right triangles are congruent and we're going to use a new property called the H L property and that stands for hypotenuse and leg basically what this means is in a right triangle if you've got two right triangles and you know the hypotenuse and one of the legs are congruent then the two triangles are congruent so let's take a look at our diagram and our given information and sketch anything in that we need to here. Uh, first of all, it says that PQS and RQS are right triangles. We've got this little right angle symbol down here. So that's good. That means we can apply the HL property. And then it says PS is congruent to RS. So PS is here, RS is here. So the hypotenuses are congruent. So that's good. We've got the hypotenuse part. What about the leg? Well, these two triangles share a side. So this side, SQ, is congruent to itself. So therefore, you've got a hypotenuse, a leg. They're right triangles. They have to be congruent. So let's see how we'd organize this into a proof. I think um, the first thing that we need to do is, is state the given that these are right triangles. Otherwise, HL doesn't work at all. So triangle PQS and triangle uh, RQS are right, okay? And the reason is given, okay? Next step, we need uh, a hypotenuse that's congruent and uh, a leg that's congruent. Well, the hypoten hypotenuse here being congruent is, is just part of the given information. So we can say PS is congruent to RS because of given. All right. And the leg is this side QS that's congruent to itself. So we can say QS is congruent to QS. And that is because of the reflexive property. Something is congruent or equal to itself. All right, so now we've got the hypotenuse and the leg and the fact that these are right triangles. So we can simply state that these two triangles are congruent by the HL property. So we're going to say triangle PQS is congruent to triangle RQS. And the reason is HL property of triangle congruence. And the lines here we need to refer back to. There are three pieces of information we need. We need to know that the triangles are right triangles, that the hypotenuse is congruent, and the uh, leg is congruent. So that's lines one, two, and three that we refer to there. So that is how you would construct a proof uh, using the hypotenuse leg property of triangle congruence.